Central windowsill frame trim can easily be cut down to size to precisely frame the window in your bath surround. Before installing the windowsill frame, make sure to waterproof the windowsill using a waterproofing membrane such as RedGuard. Each piece of windowsill trim you received is likely longer and deeper than you will need, therefore it will need to be cut down to fit the dimensions of your window. Let's begin with measuring and cutting the correct depth of each piece. Measure from the window sash to the outside of the central material in three locations. Mark your trim piece with the measurements and cut to fit. You can use a jigsaw to make this long cut or utilize the score and snap method. Score your measurement line with a razor knife on the image side of the trim piece. You might need about three passes to get deep enough to snap off the unwanted piece. Now, let's move on to measuring and cutting the length of each piece. For the bottom sill piece, take two measurements from jam to jam, one on the inside against the sash and another measurement on the outside edge of the window. If these two measurements are different, one of the corners might be a little out of square. Repeat, taking similar measurements on both jams and the header. Since you can square up an out of square corner by applying a heavier amount of adhesive to the lightly flared edge, go with the shortest measurement of the two. Now, to create a pocket for the corner block, reduce that measurement by one half inch and make your cut. Repeat on the two jams and the header. A chop saw is a great tool for this cut. Dry fit these pieces for accuracy, paying attention to where the pieces meet, creating the square pocket for the corner block. Take note when dry fitting these pieces that you will be adding a thin layer of adhesive, so you may need to cut off an additional 1 16th inch or so for a precise fit. When you're happy with the fit, Apply silicone to the inside joints where the sill jams and the top header meet the sash as well as the inside corners. Now, run a bead of silicone onto the central perimeter face one half inch away from the edge of the window, creating yet another water barrier. Next, apply adhesive to the sill, jams, and header, either in beads or in dots. Remember that if you have a corner that is out of square, Apply a slightly heavier bead to that area, so you can square up that corner. Install the bottom sill either level or with a slight tilt toward the front, so water will not pool on it. Install the jam and the header trim pieces in the same fashion. If your horizontal lengths are out of level, or the uprights are out of plumb, the reveal on the window frame might be noticeable. Therefore. Make adjustments to your trim piece cuts so everything looks right. These areas can be adjusted with a little extra adhesive. Install each corner block by applying adhesive into the hollow back and to avoid a messy cleanup, don't overfill. To finish up the installation, use color matching silicone and seal both the entire outside perimeter as well as all inside seams of your window trim kit.